All right, welcome to YouTube peeps to the finale of Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Campaign Remastered. We are on the level contingency, as you can see, which is the beginning of the final act, which is Act 3. We just did of their own accord, which is one of the best missions in the entire series just because of just the fucking setting. Um, and yeah, I just want to mention as well, I normally don't talk about follower viewer counts and everything, but thank you guys so much for 600 followers on Twitch. This will be like the only time I say it because like I said, my philosophy is it's not about how many people are in here. It's about the quality of the people that are in here. But nonetheless, 600 goddamn followers. That is unbelievable. Thank you all so much from Twitch, YouTube, anywhere, Discord as well. Thank you so much for 600. And also 500 on YouTube. We have 500 subs on YouTube now as well. Although that number fluctuates either slightly above or below it. So 600 on Twitch, 500 on YouTube. You guys are fucking insane. Thank you so much for the support. I appreciate each and every one of you. From the bottom of my heart, let's go. Also, since Super ru ruined the uh, cutscene last night, we'll uh, you'll actually get to hear it now. Kappa. Thank you once again for the sub yesterday, Super. Appreciate you. Let's fucking do this. We gotta end this Uplink war tonight. Nearly complete. General Shepard, you're online with Captain Price. Hell yeah. Back from the brink, Captain. Out of the frying pan is more like it. <laughs> this world looks more like hell than the one I just left. Mm hmm We thought we'd recover the ACS before the Russians could crack it. We were wrong. No shit. And Makarov turned the U.S. into a scapegoat. Next thing you know, there's flames everywhere. What's this image you're sending me? Submarine. You want to put out an old fire, sir? You set off a bigger explosion right next to it. it sucks away the oxygen. Snuffs the flame. I keep forgetting that General Shepard's like... Price, you've been locked away too long. He's like mind, right, above son. the one for one. He's like Shepard, the commander of them. Are you willing to do what is necessary to win? Always. We got ourselves a pretty big fire. Gonna need a huge bang. You've been in the gulag too long, Price. Focus on taking out Makarov. No time, sir. We need to end this war today. Fair. I'm not asking you, Price. This is an order. Here hmm. Looks like we lost our connection. Oops. That sucks. Sucks for Shepard, at least. I wasn't listening anyway. Price is back, baby. Oh, good. The M14 e EBR, ERB. Good. Because I'm so good at sniping. Five men. Automatic rifles. Frag grenades. One German Shepherd. Mm. Dogs. I hate dogs. These Russian dogs are like pussycats compared to the ones in Pripyat. <laughs> good to have you, back, old man. you are not wrong, though. So, hey, Price, why were you in the gulag? <laughs> Don't do anything stupid. Did they ever, like... Like, did they ever establish why Price was in the gulag? Because at the end of MW1, <clears throat> unless it's in, like, Special Ops or something, I never knew, like, why he ended up there. See, at the end of MW1, he just, like, we assume he's dead, quote-unquote, and then he's not dead. Maybe that's the whole thing. It's like, oh, you think he's dead. Okay. Yoink. <laughs> reload that one round. <laughs> oh, God. One bullet. Fucking <laughs> reload. I'm so good at stealth missions. Okay. Yoink. Yoink. Oh, what the fuck? Beautiful. I shot him in the booty. I guess that wasn't enough to kill him. <laughs> the gluteus maximus can be pretty big. I think we're going the right way. <laughs> I don't speak the language. Yo, this fucking mission looks beautiful.
Just strolling around me and my grandpa. Also, I like that the uh, subtitles say Soap Now and not uh, Captain McTavish. That's, a, once again, another good detail. Five hundred M. Five hundred meatballs. The Russians have mobile <clears throat> oh boy. Roger that. Have you found us some transport? I'm working on it. Out. Mobile Sam, son. That's not good. We saw what happened with the uh, Sams at the end of a, of our own accord. They freaking. Oh no! No 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 no! I honestly forgot about that. Follow you? Fuck you, dude! I'm just gonna run. Wow. That guy came storming out of left field like it was nobody's business. He's like, I'm coming to fuck your bitch. You better run. Yeah, but they can still shoot, forehead. They can still shoot through the trees. It's not like the trees are going to stop that massive bullet. Oh, so shoot him. Got it. Boom. Have they passed yet, Grandpa? Good boots on snow sound effect, by the way. Oh. Dog patrol. Okay. Checkpoint pog. Eh, yeah, we'll leave him be. Let's go this way. You can live just to die another day. Oh, isn't that a James Bond movie? Die another day? Or something like that. <coughs> die another Tuesday or some shit, I don't know. so weird that price leaves like takes like four seconds to kill the dog Take them out or try to slip past. Your call. uh we'll just slip past why not i'll try to be i'll try to actually be stealthy here i normally would just be like blink 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 and then that's it but eh they're going that way should be all right we good now grandpa you are lying right in blood. At least very close to. Alright. Are we good? Are we not good? What are we doing, Price? Oh! You gotta move or not? You got. You kind of gotta go that way. Oh! All right, you brought the sun yourself. Well done. Oh! <laughs> what is the dog doing? That dog was like pug pleasing. Fucking see ya. Oh. Oh, oh, Price shot the dog. Oh, well. Nap time. So, what's the status of our no wonder I was actually going the wrong way. A UAV loaded with AGMs is en route to your position. Sick. Oh, is that it? Oh, there it is. Nice. Hey, uh, about those SAM sites, though. Is that gonna be like. Is that gonna be. Is that gonna be a problem? Oh, or maybe I'll just go down here. Hmm. Okay. What just happened? 
I think I was supposed to not fall. I'd actually never done that before. I didn't mean to fall down the ridge. I was supposed to, like... Well, the whole thing was you're supposed to shoot it and then it just gets blown up, but, like... Wait, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me try that again. Oh, god damn it. Never mind. I fucking fucked it up. Well, I guess I really fuck it up. That was funny, though. What just happened? What just happened? <laughs> All right. Oh, I love the scope. All right. Oh, that's not friendly. I guess I. I guess that was like the speed run thing, right? <laughs> Haha. -ha. Totally didn't just waste time or anything. Bonk. I was wondering why the AUG H bar got a scope. Oh, there's a lot of you. All right, hold on one second. Yay! No chance. Ain't no rest for the wicked motherfuckers. What the hell was that? Oh, Sposs. Oh, sorry, ghost. I have this line up right in front of that door. <laughs> That was very convenient. Checkpoint. It's only like right here. That's ghost. I'll take that ammo, thanks. Oh, and, oh, it's an MG4. Yeah, sure, why not? It's a different LMG. Uh, hello? Who? Where? Oh. Alright, maybe not. Get fucking bamboozled. Grab that. There we go. Grab the AUG again. Is the whole thing... A, I think the AUG's actually supposed to be an LMG. I think that's why it gets like a big-ass scope. Oh! No, you don't. Like, I think in multiplayer, this is an LMG. But it acts like an AR in campaign for some reason. Let me go with the red dot. Ow, by the way. Oh. All right, cool. There we go. All right, now we're in business. Ooh, RPG. So we've linked up with Ghost and the rest of the team. Roger that. The second predator is almost in position. You got a... These things don't grow on trees. I was about to say, you got another one, dude. There's the submarine. It's right below that crane. Roach, soften up their defenses with the predator. Okay, Dad. I mean, Grandpa. The flashing strobes. That's us. Hmm. What should I go after first? Um. How about the heli? Yeet! Yeah, no shit. I think I overthrew that. I sure did. Rip. Overthrew the damn grenade. I remember in this in this level, I was gonna say you get the AGM, but it it takes it's not instant like in uh, Wolverines. All right, time to go after those tanks and shit. All right, let's see. Uh, yep. Boom. Good effect on target. BTR destroyed. Thanks, man. Aug is just a bullpup rifle, so the scope is just in design. Ah, I see. That makes more sense. See, so yeah, it was always like, oh. But I think the AUG is actually, like... I think there's an AUG assault... I remember looking this up because I was confused about it. I think there actually is, a, like, an LMG variant of the AUG, and I think this is it. But in multiplayer, it actually has, like, a 100-round clip or some shit. Oh, right. Sorry. Sorry, I was talking about the AUG H-Bar. I remember looking up on Wikipedia. I was like, oh, yeah, the H-Bar is a different variant or some shit. It does look cool, though. I'm just not much of a scope guy because... I suck at long range. But, uh, yeah, the scope is pretty fucking sweet. Oh, hold on. I'm gonna go Rambo. Is it working? I think it works. <laughs> Wasted a hundred rounds and got, like, two guys. Alright. Now let's actually use this. All right, uh, any other big targets, big targets, big targets. Looks like that is a negative. We'll just go after these guys. Multiple confirmed kills. Nice work. 
I did I actually hit anything? I thought I hit like maybe a fucking rooftop or something. Gonna shout it for oh, hello. Bye. Oh, we had the M10. This is, this is another pretty short mission. Oh, traditionally it's a regular. Ah, oh, I see. I mean, we're using the <clears throat> uncommon variant. Did that work? Oh, three. Damn. And I'm halfway gone and I'm on. Is this... I was going to say, this is the only... Oh, no, wait. They had the AUG... Uh, I remember they had an SMG variant in uh, the new Modern Warfare. It was just called, like, the AUG. I don't think that weapon was very good, unfortunately. Um... That fucked him up real good. Cool. Thanks for not telling me how many I got, Dad. Daddy Soap. Alright, who else wants a thrashing? Oh, y'all have... Oh! Rip that guy! I'm not sure who that was. Oof. Yeet! Alright. Hold on. What a waste. We're gonna get like two dudes. Such a waste of the government's money. Ooh, the M240. Oh, these are both M240s. Never mind. No, this is a woman in ACOG. Alright, give me the missile. Hell yeah, good timing. Alright, uh, I could have sworn there was, like, another truck that comes in, but maybe I'm incorrect. Multiple confirmed kills. Nice work. Thanks, man. That was danger close, I just realized. Oh! <laughs> Bye! Follow you. I'm right here already, bro. Oh, yeah, the dragon knob. Haha, <laughs> lol. That thing, that thing fucking never goes straight, does it? I will wait. Allegedly, people love the AUG in Warzone. Oh, really? Is it like a good weapon? I'm glad the M4 is a solid gun in every iteration. That is fair. Dude, I remember using the, uh, the uh, M4A1 and uh, MW3 a good amount. I think I got gold on that weapon. It was pretty good. It was good balance. Pretty fast for an AR, too, and had good damage. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, here we go. This is what I wanted. Good effect on target. Nice. Very nice. That's what I was waiting for. I was like, weren't there more vehicles? M4 and MW3 is probably one of the best because it's well-rounded. Yeah, that's why I liked it so much. It just was a very good, well-rounded weapon. There was really no, like, direct pros and direct cons. It was just a... It's good, solid workhorse. Y'all are fucked. Now, MW3, it's all about the ACR. Oh, yeah. Well, to be fair, too, the ACR in uh, MW3 was also very good. I think it was like the. Was it just called. Or it might have just been called the ACR. I don't remember. ACR 130 or something like that. Oh. Dude, I remember, I love the ACR in MW3. I didn't play M... Oh, shit. No, there was an ACR in MW3. It was, it was like the Remington ACR. It was a different variant. It was very powerful. Oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, it was like the heavier version. Kind of like how in this game it's the Scar H. But in uh, MW3, it's the Scar L, so heavy and light. Uh, is that bad? Oh, huh. Should I shoot that? Oh boy, that was bad, maybe. Yeah, I didn't nearly have the accuracy of the old one, but it. Uh, it died off in comparison. It was that dead to me that I forgot it existed. Yeah, I don't think it was as good as the one in MW2, but it was it was pretty fun to use. 
Yeah, it, 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 uh, what it made up for, um, it made up for its power from the accuracy, basically. Because the accuracy was kind of meh, but the power was pretty damn good. Like, three shots and you were good to go. Maybe even less than that. Gentlemen, the missiles vector puts it in route to the east coast. We will lose the White House. Who cares? We've rebuilt it before. It's a fucking building. We'll it again. Casualties? Possibly 30 to 50,000. Depends on the exact location of the detonation. All systems will go down. Great. General Shepard, you warned us. We should have listened. When they speak of this moment, we will not be the ones who stood guard while America died. One man is responsible for all this. Is it though? Makarov must be brought to life. I mean, Price was the one Whatever that shot need, the missile, General, but. You got a blank check. That's not good. You got a blank check. Uh, yeah, it basically had the power of an AK with just slightly better accuracy than an AK, but that was about it. I enjoyed it, though. My favorite gun in the game was probably the uh, either the MP7 or the PP90M1. Those are the only two weapons I've ever gotten an actual ground war Moab, which is a uh, 24 kills in or, yeah 24 kills in a row without dying when you use specialist. I still have those clips too. I should play those at one point. You're dead. Bye. We're fucked. Alright, last mag. Boy, there's a lot. Done. Why the fuck would you get up? I don't know why my controllers are kind of stunted right now. Oh, that's very bright. Oh, space, space, space. The final frontier. Tier, tier. Wow, this looks really good in this version. MP7 easily replaced MW2's ACR. Love that gun. Had no right to be that accurate at the range. It was yeah. Even with uh, even with rapid fire, it was still pretty damn accurate. Oh, that looks so cool. That looks really cool with all the lights. This looks so much better in this version. Yeah, the MP7 was god tier. You know what else is good? The MP9, the machine pistol. That thing was also very good. Oh, the long. Hmm. Things seems to be flying pretty damn low at this point. Houston, this is ISS. Oh. Oh, God. Oh. Earth below us, drifting, falling, floating, weightless, coming home. Oh. Oh, you can actually, like, see it in the air this time. Uh, hey, we should probably go. Oh, Adam Sandler? Oh, boy. Oh, that was very close. Yes, I love, I love Dunn. God, Dunn is losing his shit. I mean, I can't really blame him, though, to be fair. Whoa. We good? Oh. Mags? Oh, my fucking God. What the hell are we going to do now, man? Ross, we got our number shit's falling from the sky. We're screwed, man. We're Shut totally up. hooked. Get it, Pim Corporal. Our weapons still work. We'll Shut up. Still kick some ass, what? Whoa. <laughs> hey, you say as you're falling over. Holy fucking shit. Also, I have, like, a bunch of ammo now for some reason. Son, shut the fuck up. Are you a Marine or not? Or, uh, sorry, are you a Ranger or not? It's over. Come on. We still have a water plant. Wow, that had much more of an effect. You could actually like see the EMP go off in this version. They really that outdid themselves. <laughs> oh, man. It's quiet. Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> it 
this way, bro. Looks like optics are down. Wow. Comms too. Check it out, man. There's not even a street light. What? Across. Check what out. Oh, yes. Oh, there's intel, by the way. Never mind. Maybe I won't grab the intel. Oh wait, is that intel? Oh no, that's straight up just like a. Fu okay, never mind. <laughs> it's not intel. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> get it, Texas Star. Colonel Marshall's assembling a task force at Whiskey. <laughs> Colonel Marshall. Do you shout out to Colonel Marshall? <laughs> Let's go. They had to make that as like a joke, right? I mean, come on, <laughs> Colonel Marshall. You're up. So am I. Even though I'm not done. <laughs> I'm not done. Done. Ooh, what is that? Copy that. Oh, it's just the same thing, just without a scope, I guess. I'll take the one with the scope, thanks. All right, <laughs> Penrod. Star. All right. Well, yeet. I got like push in the wall. That was weird. Yeet. I'm gonna spam these because I've got unlimited ammo, literally. All right, I gotta go for the ceiling. Maybe not though. That didn't work. <laughs> Oh boy. <laughs> I like how he's calling to me and I'm like, I'm gonna go grab some ammo, thanks. <laughs> Ramirez! Oh, he's gone. Alright, never mind. Whoop. Whoop. Look out, Penrod. Or, sorry, McCord. I forgot. Penrod got shot. <laughs> Penrod. Ooh, that was nice. Yeah, I know. I'm getting them. It's almost like I know how to play the game. Oh. Jesus. Alright, y'all are fucked now. M9! God, how many rounds does this thing have? Like, 14? It's actually not bad for a pistol. Ooh, the striker. Let's see, what do we got? Or the foul <laughs> RPG-7. I think I'll go with probably the striker. Uh, let's see what else we got. Act 47. Ech. And 9, no. Ooh, the P... I haven't used the P90 yet. Yeah, you know, let's go with the P90. It's a good weapon. This is another one of my favorite weapons in MW3. P90 with extended max. P90... Or actually, no, P90 with rapid fire and silencer. Pretty damn good. Because you didn't really need an extended max on a P90. It's already got, like, what, 50 rounds? Alright. We wrecked him. Ooh, RPD though. Nah, it's fine. We'll go with the P90. Holy shit. Got him. Guys, we're not having a red dot. Uh uh. Uh, -uh sir. God, what if the EMP took out our guns for some reason? That'd be bad. Oh! <laughs> They're dead, right? I don't know. This one's got a bullet hole in his brain. I think I think he might survive. Oh my god. Stop being a pussy. You're such a puss. Uh, knock, knock. Who's there? Keep quiet. Got a visual on three tangos. Stay low. Clear shot. Rip that guy in the tank. Dude, Foley, a fucking savage. <laughs> but there's guys in the tank. 
What guy's in the tank? Never mind. <laughs> just, just move on, I guess. They're not friendly. P90! MP9 regularly on secondary? Yep. You run an MP7 with silencer and extended mags, or maybe extended mags, rapid fire, or silencer rapid fire, and then a fucking MP9 with either extended mags or rapid fire. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was the fucking. That was the cheese. That was the ultimate Gouda combo. And then you'd have specialist or some shit. You get all the perks after seven kills. All the perks with their, like, max, you know, max out. Okay, Dad. Yeah, that shit was gar- this, that shit was gross. <laughs> but in a good way. Huh. Whoa, check out the seal on this door. I thought the president's bunker was under the west wing. No, that's just the tourists. This must be the real thing. Oh, shit. Obama, is that you? That was also my specialist class, yep. Real or not, man, this place is history. We got out in time. Yeah, it's a uh, turbo fucked. Alright, that was it. Specialist was the easiest way to get a nuke along with just being super fun when on a streak, right? That's how I, like I said, that's how I got both of my, uh, my only two, like, and I'm, I'm not counting infected. If I'm counting infected, I probably got, like, fucking 30 or 40 Moabs, because it was pretty easy to get a Moab and infected. But, um, yeah, the only two ground, like, Moabs I got in Ground War, which is the 9v9 mode, were with, uh, Specialist and the... One was the MP7 with an MP9. I think I just ran with the MP7, though. I think it was Silencer Extended Mags, uh, Specialist. And then the other one was with the, uh, PP90 Silencer Extended Mag Specialist. And, uh, yeah, I got, I got, a, I got, oh, I almost died a few times on both of those, but I got a Moab. 24 in a row. Without dying somehow. And I think after the MP7 one, I, like, immediately died after. So I got really lucky. Sounds like the party's already started. You got a Moab and small team search and destroy? Fucking how, though? Search and destroy? I could never do that, man. I tried. It's very hard for me. I was not able to keep up. Oh. I'm much better just like that. Oh. Oh, my God. All right, goodbye, Colonel Marshall. They all left as it was called in. Oh, really? They were just like, fuck this dude. Oh, yeah, this thing. That's a bummer. It's a shame you didn't actually get to, like, feel the full effect of it. I guess, to be fair, like, in MW2, the game would have ended if you had called it a nuke. So I guess you got, like, the MW2 thing. The MW2 ending, even though the Moab doesn't do that in MW3, the game would keep going. Oh. This is bad. I have few specific memories like that. One of my uh, fondest memories of MW3 was uh, the only time I ever went, like, sniper mode. And I had a Barrett 50 cal. And I remember it was actually the final kill cam. Where I, uh... I basically... I basically, like, there was one, two, and then there's a third guy in the window that I didn't see. I scoped and shot the one guy, and then uh, just as panic, because I was like, holy shit, there's three guys there. I shot twice, hit that guy on the right with a headshot, and then somehow hit the guy in the window with, um, with, I think, a headshot or, like, a body shot. And I got a fucking triple kill with two of them being a no-scope uh, final kill cam. And it was, like, to win the game, too. I had I have to find these clips because I still have them on my uh, on my 360. Maybe before we uh, maybe before we do NCA, I'll bring those up for just for the lulls. One where I was using a bare bones Famas on rundown. You went 40 nothing, damn son, with a bare with a bare bones Famas, damn, that's pretty damn good. I can't run three bursts, three round bursts for the most part. I'm just more of a full auto run. Whenever I do like video or uh, FPSs, I'm just uh. 
I'm just a running gun, like, fast as fuck, boy. I basically just run, like, the fastest SMG possible. I remember in Modern Warfare, like, New Modern Warfare, I, uh, I did the same thing where... I think I had the stock, or, like, no stock, which made me go faster, and, uh... Everything to basically make me go faster and shoot faster. <laughs> Uh, no big boom because kill streaks. Ah, I see. Still rad though, dude. 40 and. Oh, that's pretty fucking insane. I don't think I've ever been on a streak that much in a real game. I think my top is like 25, 26. Like right after the Moab, basically. Or actually, no, I think in Halo Reach, I, I got, um. I think I got like 30 or 40 in a row at one point, but I was also in a tank, so I was kind of cheesing it. That was a good memory, too. I got in a tank and just fucking destroyed it. I got untouchable for sure. Uh, speaking of triple burst, that tr weird experiment to try burst gun in 3 was really interesting. The one that was basically a giant rectangle of a gun. Yeah, the uh, we were talking about it last stream, the Type 95, right? It was basically like the FAMAS, but worse. Yeah, the Type 95 was uh, was used a lot and infected. That's why I know it very well. Yeah, it was pretty weird. It was just a worse FAMAS, basically. Yeah, it wasn't much of a rectangle, but I know what you mean. It definitely looked... It was definitely a different look from the FAMAS. I actually looked it up. The Type 95 is apparently the, uh... Like, the Chinese military's, like, um... Default rifle, whatever they call it. It's like whatever one, like, the military mainly uses, apparently, is the Type 95. It was fun to use an infected. Because if you could hit all the shots, it was pretty one shot, one kill. Closest thing it looks like is the Halo 2 BR. Yeah, that's that's actually pretty accurate. It is funny though how both the Type 95 and the FAMAS have like that. They have like the carry handle and then they put the scope on top because it's kind of the same thing. You know what I mean? Like how it's the gun, but then there's like a ridge. The Type 95 was the same thing except the ridge was like way. B I think the ridge actually was like a rectangle. <laughs> you are all fucked. Also, shout out to the Halo 2 BR. That thing is rad. Yeah, it was like a weird trap. basically, yeah. Some sort of weird shape. Slightly angled, yeah. It was pretty cool, though. I mean, I can, but sure. Oh, right. They're going to, like, fucking bomb this entire area, right? And then we got to gotta put the flares up. I remember this. This is where shit gets real intense. Wow. Okay, I suck. Yeah, MW3 definitely has some of my uh, favorite, like, weapon selection. I never use the shotguns all that much, but remember the USOS... The USOS is pretty good. The USOS 12 shotgun. Uh, the UMP 45 was rad. Um, the MP5 was pretty damn good, too. MP5 with rapid fire is pretty gross. It's just very inaccurate. The only SMG I didn't... I think I used but didn't use that much was the uh, the P... What was it called? The PP90? Like, it was basically the Uzi but not an Uzi. Oh, sorry. Done. I used that one for a little bit, but god damn, it was so inaccurate. You tried to get that one a rapid fire, and it was actually comical how inaccurate it was. I think it was just called the the PP90. Or the, maybe just the P90, I don't remember. You ever get a triple PP90? Yeah, that's the one. It was it was not it was not the Uzi. It was basically MW3's Uzi. MW, MW3 uh, did that a lot where they were like, oh, we can't reuse the Uzi because we just used it last game. So let's use a weapon that's extremely similar, but different name and brand. Uh, you ever get a triple or quad kill on rooftops? Uh, high rise, top of a skyscraper? I don't believe so. The only, like, top of a skyscraper level I remember playing is was in Ghosts. Um, I don't remember what the level was called, but it was like a bonus level or some shit. Yeah, it was literally a bullet hose. Like, actually, literally. They're gonna bomb the city! 
Yo, we gotta get out of here, Russians. Get out of here. Look, get out of the way. Please. Uh, oh, is it technically not an SMG? Is it more of like a like a machine pistol? It basically is just like a big... Ma <laughs> I just fell over. Basically, it's just like a big machine pistol for the most part. Excuse me. Uh, silent from where you spawn was direct to op. Oh, opposing spawn. Oh god, back when they had that issue a lot. So if you timed it right, you could just kind of collateral a team. You know, I think I remember actually seeing clips of that, and it just being like completely broken. Oh, speaking of machine pistol, god damn it. Yeah, I was gonna say I think it was MW2. There was a level like that where you literally could just spawn and just crouch with an M, like a uh, like an LMG with a hundred rounds, and just mow down the entire team. I know exactly what you're talking about. I don't remember what level it was, but uh, I do remember seeing clips of that. Being like, is this for real right now? <laughs> you said I had an office area. <laughs> yeah, there's a uh, small maps are good, but when you make it so small that you can just spawn camp the other team, then it just becomes a joke. We gotta fucking get to the roof. Let's get to the top. To oh boy. We gotta get to the roof now. Go, go. I'm already here, bro. Thank Christ. That part was good to sign, but the beginning was rough. All right, and that's it for uh, that's it for Army Rangers. Hope you enjoyed uh, Ramirez and uh, Foley and Dunn, because I believe we don't ever see them again. It's been a tough week, gentlemen. We've lost oh, outside the building in the middle had a couple Before cranes holding beams. Uh, you can just oh, I do remember that one. I played that with my uncle once. Check. Yeah. I'm gonna use every cent of it killing Makarov. I do remember that mission, yeah. I the, the one time I played with my uncle, we, we had on his PS3. Savages. I remember we playing that level. Civilians. We use precision. Do we not kill civilians though? There's an evil man hiding in these shadows and we're going to bring him into the light. Are we though? Once his face is revealed, we will write history, gentlemen. Should we be trying to end the war though? I mean, I guess killing Makarov probably would end the these war, right? The last safe havens left on earth for Makarov and his men. Sounds like we got to be in two places at once. Impossible. Not for the one for one. 50 50 chance to take out Makarov, eh? I'm down Captain with that. Price, request permission to take the safe house with Roach. Granted. Soap and I will take the boneyard in Afghanistan. Oh, yeah, the boneyard. Very well. The boneyard. We will cut off all avenues of escape. This ends now. Boneyard is ready. I could have sworn we ended this war yesterday. Hmm. Yeah, about that. All right. Oh, hell yeah. Loose ends. Hmm. Why is it called that? Why would this be called loose ends? Strange. Also, shout out to the ACR. Oh, this seems way too easy. You don't think, uh... You don't think they'd be smart enough to put in an ambush, do you? Nah, they're... Nope. Oh, yeah, the bouncing Betty! Right. Okay, Ghost Gaz. I mean, Ghost. Ambush! There's a lot of bush. Oh, well, we should get the fuck out then, right? Oh, maybe not that much. Wait, was that our guy or theirs? I don't know. Oh, the t oh yeah, the TMP. This is basically what the uh, the MP9 turned into. Right. This is another weapon that they just changed the name of, basically. God, I forgot about the TMP. I mean, it's, this, it's literally the same gun. Just a slightly different, like, style. <laughs> I don't even know if I'm shooting anybody. Oh, dude, the F2000, everyone's favorite gun. Yo, Super, you ever use the F-2000? Oh my god, hi. 
Isn't this like everyone's favorite gun? That's why they never brought it back ever. <laughs> it wasn't too bad. I mean, it doesn't seem that bad. It just seems like a... It just seems like a pretty fast, uh, fast and relatively accurate gun. I actually wonder why they never brought this one back. It's pretty cool. Another bullpup, too. I think I enjoyed it more than the tar. It's another one they haven't brought back, huh? The tar? Some people t swore by the tar, though. Just like how some people swear by the uh, AUG in Warzone, apparently. Are they? Uh, I don't think the glasses. Rip. Hmm. All right. Peekaboo, I see you. Yeah, I think I've only used the tar once in this campaign. Oh my god. Nope. The first time I saw No the Ox. Oh, it's in Counter Strike. Oh, that makes sense. I've never played Counter Strike. Oh, speaking of the tar, you know what? Let's use the tar. Why not? With an ACOG? Sure. Hell yeah, though. Counter-Strike. Nice. One game I never, never, ever played. But I know it's still very popular after how many fucking years? Got him. Oh. Didn't get all of them. Oh my god. Hi. Bye. Oh, yeah, the minigun. You have very little experience in CS. I have no experience in uh, Counter-Strike. Counter Strike Global Offensive. Let's go, let's go. Just like me. Offensive. <laughs> well, I mean, I guess it depends if you ask. Oh, yeah, the Mars site. I completely forgot it. It's just, it's just like a Red Dawn and ACOG. Like a Red Dawn and uh, ACOG kind of had a baby. Gee, I wonder why they never used the site again. Probably because they realized it wasn't that, like, useful. Cause it literally just looks like a red dot, but taller. All right, breaching, kablooey, yoink. Really, just one guy? Oh no, never mind. There's more than that. Right in the bathroom, huh? Oh, I forgot it. I forgot about this. Why is why is this in here, Makarov? You sick fucking bastard. <laughs> what? Kind of forgot about that. Those handprints. God. I actually didn't even notice the handprints. I saw the dirt and I was like, oh, that's kind of weird. But yeah, those are handprints, huh? I mean, to be fair, these guys got to be fucking lonely, right? I mean, they're literally waging war. Hell yeah, though. Hell yeah, dude. Oh, fucking hi. The fuck were you doing here, Scarecrow? That is a Scarecrow. Is there another one in here? Damn it. I'm glad I can't see myself in the mirror. All I would see is pain. Is that ammo? Breaching! I do. <laughs> you hear his fucking audio cut off? That, oh wow, I couldn't have. You can't fucking time that, Monka S. What the? Wow, I've never seen that before. That's fucking funny. Uh uh. Alright, cool. Alright, so which gun do we want? Oh, the L86. All right, I'm gonna go Zero for. Uh, photographs. Hmm. Shepard, this is Ghost. No sign of Makarov. I repeat, no sign of Makarov. Actually, maybe I'll go with the. Uh, Price. Any luck in Afghanistan? Twenty. At least fifty hide guns here, but no sign of Makarov. Press our intel was off. Hmm. Well, the quality of the intel's about to change. This safe house is a bloody gold mine. Of course it is. Copy that. The little Ghost. lady. Have your team collect everything you can for an operations playbook. Names, contacts, places, everything. We're already on it, sir. Makarov will have nowhere to run. 
Where the fuck? Hold on. I'm bringing up an extraction force ETA five minutes. Oh, here we go. This Get is what I wanted. Intel. Shepherd out. Uh, let's see. MT48 cog. Or let's go with red dot. I've got the front. Go and I'll keep the ACR. On my way. All right. Yoink. Task force. This is Price. More of Macross men just arrived at the bone yard. Mm. So cover me. I'm gonna slot that guy over there and use his radio to tap into their comms. We're going silent for a few minutes. Good luck up there in Russia. Price out. Roach, Ooh, third six megabytes per second. What is this, Comcast? I'm just kidding. Comcast is actually pretty good. Going silent in a few minutes, goddamn the timing. I'm so sad. Sad as fuck, dude. Yeah, that's, uh... That's, uh, that timing's pretty good, and, uh... Oh, but why is it pretty good, though? Hmm. No, nothing bad's gonna happen to... To anybody. Well, we're gonna totally be alright. We're gonna get the module. We're gonna give it to our... Our grandpa. And all's gonna... All's well attend well, right? I mean, come on. Nothing bad's gonna happen to... To these guys. Also, yoink. I don't know where I shot that. <laughs> uh, space, uh, words. Space words, my favorite. Wow, it's 0.3 megabytes per second. 100, this is literally like how downloading a video game on Xbox. To come volume, volume. <laughs> Look at his girth on the broken window panes. Look at his girth. Reminds me of a Brian Regan bid. Where he was like, try to weigh a box of UPS. He's like, I need the weight and the girth. It's like, well, I don't know what the weight is. And, and I don't know what girth means. <laughs> Dude, shout out to Brian Regan. That dude is one hell of a funny man. And he's funny without being like vulgar. My mom and uh, my mom and I think it was my dad saw Brian Regan live, and they said it was so fucking funny. Oh, scarecrow! No. Go to sleep, you doze off. So I take your country girl clothes off. I put my hands on your body. It feels like, hey, it's a fucking scarecrow again. Also, shout to Bo Burnham. God, 122 minutes of 0 0.09 megabytes per second. God, it's, it's like I'm on Spectrum or something. Lol. No, I'm sorry. It's, it's like I'm running on CenturyLink. Because fuck CenturyLink, they suck. They are the worst. If you if you ever have the chance to team something in CenturyLink, go with the other something. Yeah, Cox. You know, to be fair, though, when we had uh, Cox Internet... Uh, Cox, by the way. When we had Cox Internet at our uh, last apartment, it actually wasn't too bad. I thought it was going to be a lot worse than it was, but it actually wasn't as bad as I remembered. It seemed like they had gotten better in, like, the ten years that we had used them. Because back when we used Cox, like, in our first apartment, they were terrible. But when we used them for our last apartment in Arizona, it actually wasn't too bad. And they were able to fix our issues, like, pretty quickly. And, like, efficiently. But CenturyLink, though, CenturyLink can fucking die. I hate CenturyLink, and my mom does, too. They are awful. Awful, awful, awful. I'm not trying to blame the people that work at CenturyLink, but the company itself is garbage, and their internet's garbage. That was by far the worst experience I've ever had with an internet service provider. Anyway, CenturyLink, if you'd like to sponsor my channel, I'm just kidding. I'm just fucking kidding. Please don't, actually. I mean, what? Anyway, let's shoot this guy. And then the... Oh, throwback. Oh. That ghost? Who was that? Ghost literally just chilling right here. This guy's just walking meat sacks at this point. Now, we've been running a Xfinity, though. And we have, like literally not had any problems minus a few uh a few times that the internet's been down for like repairs and maintenance like 
and just a few times where it's been down because of like a power line going down we've had like no issues and i'm very happy with that we get great speeds too i mean i'm connected to ethernet and i get some real good speeds Grand, i am on ethernet but still like it's very good it's definitely been the best experience we've had with an uh, isp and plus they have hot spots everywhere which is really cool we're almost there. Alright, I think I'm going to ditch the uh, ACR and we're just going to go LMGs all the way. Let's go. Alright, LMG squad, let's go. Oh, these are both M240s. Fuck, I didn't realize that. Oh, wait. Where's the uh, LC? Uh, hang on. I got to grab the right gun. Give me one moment. Uh-oh. Uh... Hey, where was the, uh, oh, shit. Where was the fucking L-O? Oh, I'll grab that, though. Uh, uh, uh. Wa 2000, let's go. This is gonna be so bad. That's the big thing about the AUG of the campaign. The built-in scope was normal for it, yes. And the built-in scope is pretty dope. I'm I'm not super much of a fan of it, but that's because I'm not much of a scope guy. Anyway, let's use this. Oh, it's got thermal scope. Oh God, why did I choose the Wa 2000? Another one they never brought back for you know reasons. Oh, this is a mistake. Yeah, no, the AUG's pretty fucking sweet though. Bye. Oh my God, I forgot there's like 10 million guys. It's funny that I'm actually, like, doing relatively well with the Watch 1000. Dude, Serpentine, 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 Serpentine! Serpentine didn't work! I forgot that I used that gun uh, regularly on my very specific class called Heavy Artillery. The Watch 2000 or the AUG? Specifically for destroying kills. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, I apparently have an AK-47 now, by the way. Oh, boy. I don't know. How, I don't know how the fuck. So I don't know how the fuck uh, we're still alive, but oh, good. Hang in there. Oh. Yeah, I remember. I had at least one class that was like an M4 with a stinger. Oh, oh. Dad. Did we do it? I'm. I'm okay. Shepard. Is it? Oh no! Ooh. Well. Oh damn! Roach grabbed his arm. Oh. Oh, that makes it so much worse. Oh, that's such a good little detail. Like, no, you're not going to get it. And then he just shakes him off. No, ghost. No. No. Well. Yeah, uh, you're a little late. You're a little late there, bud. No. Betrayed by our not dad. Oh, shite. Well. Can you believe that Shepard was a bad guy the entire time? I would never have guessed. Although, to be fair. To be fair. The first time I played this game, I had no idea. And that was... I think that is still one of the best twist villains in, like, anything ever. It's such a good twist. Alright, well. Shepard's officially on my shit list now. Also, Rip, Roach, and Ghost. Man, that's... I forgot, that's two two of our main characters that we play as fucking die in this game. Freaking, uh, Alan and Roach. Well, rest in peace. Hey, can you believe that Gaz, da uh, Gaz died twice? Roach, Ghost, come in, Ghost. You copy. Does anyone copy? They're dead, so... 
Shepard's cleaning house. Fuck. I'm working my way back to you. Shepard betrayed us. Have to trust someone to be betrayed. I never did. <laughs> Nikolai, come in. Do you have our location? Oh, Nikolai. Course. We'll have to take them all out then. Yep. Or let them take each other out. Either way, I'll see you on the other side, my friend. Dude, shout out to Nikolai for always being the fucking expendable wild card. There's only like one or two tells where he pushes things close right. Um, but that's somewhat expected within wartime, so we overlook it. That is true. Like when he goes danger close in the gulag. And then, like, when, uh, when Price says, uh, Strange, I thought we ended this war yesterday. Just because, like, you could see that he's just going for revenge at this point. Not really, not really giving a shit if the war ends. He just wants to kill Makarov. <laughs> True. Yeah, Nikolai is, uh, Nikolai is the MVP. The true MVP. Even though he almost dies, like, seven times. <laughs> Can you believe the LZ is hot? Yeah, uh-huh. Right, whatever you say, Nikolai. <laughs> whatever you say, fam. I love his sense of humor, too. Nikolai's the one cool Russian in this series. Oh, good, the audio's cutting out. That didn't happen for two fucking... Or, actually, more than that, like, five chapters, and now it's doing it again. So, God damn it. Okay. Hey, I tried to do what you said, and it got me killed. Thanks, fam. Thanks, Grandpa. Asshole. So, Alright. No I'm just gonna... Yeah, what happens if I just run? Uncontrollably run. Serpentine, serpentine, ser... Let's <laughs> <laughs> run over by a car. I can't remember if it's specifically the mission or the special ops here, but this place in general is hell. I remember this one being pretty tough on normal as well. And so I'm gonna try and cheese it and see if I can just fucking bullshit it. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can cheese it. Let's see if we can get that maximum stinky cheese. Oh, there's no fucking way. Oh. All right, we'll actually try. There's no way I'm gonna be able to fucking cheese this. There's literally no way. Oh, guess I can go this way. Oh, maybe I can go this way. Hold on. All right, we're gonna go this way. Shh. You don't see me. Well, I've never seen that before. Well, there's always a first time. Oh. First time for everything, I guess. Nope, you don't see me. Oh, of course it's a fucking dead end. Hmm. Oh, of course I can't go that way. Alright. Thanks to the smilers as well, by the way. Whatever you say, sir. Oh, I actually got a checkpoint. Oh, maybe you can cheese this. Hold on. Nope, nope. I'm just a walking bush. I'm just a bush. Just a bush with a gun. Whoop. Excuse me. Walking bush coming fear. Oh fuck. Uh you and I both know you won't last a week. And you know you You ever hear the old saying? Checkpoint again. Oh my god, we're actually cheesing this. Christ, one day you're going to find that cut both ways. Grant, I mean I still am shooting a little bit, but I'm not doing nearly as much as I normally would. You know what? I'll see you now. There's actually no way, right? Grant I am on normal. Keep that in mind. Oh my god, did I actually get there? Holy shit, I did! Oh. 
No, I don't think you did. All right, note to self. There's a fucking car that apparently had too much to drink. Specifically oil. Holy shit. Okay, ye Wow, I actually can't believe I, like, somewhat made it, though. Huh. Man, I wonder if this ends up being the shortest mission in the game if you, uh, if you can just cheese it. Nah, probably F and G, or, um, excuse me, SSDD. Actually, I don't know, though, because you have to go through that, like, thing. Caleb is still using the M14. Knife a truck. Checkpoint. Hold on. Oh. There's his chopper, dude. Come on, Rook. Oh boy. Thanks, I never I couldn't couldn't Oh No Rook! Got it. Wow. Yeah, was that the sh <laughs> I think that might have been the shortest mission in the whole game. <laughs> I just fucking I just fucking brute forced it. Now, reminder, I am on normal. If I tried to do that on veteran, I probably would have died like 17 times. So yeah. Oh, most wanted, huh? What the, what do you mean? We got one good UMP. They've got a thousand. We don't even know if Makarov's intel's any good. Price? Price? The healthy human mind doesn't wake up in the morning thinking this is its last day on Earth. Hmm. But I think that's a luxury, not a curse. To know you're close to the end is a kind of freedom. Good time to take inventory. Outgunned, outnumbered, out of our minds on a suicide mission. But the sand and rocks here stained with thousands of years of warfare. They will remember us for this. Because out of all our vast array of nightmares, this is the one we choose for ourselves. We go forward like a breath exhaled from the earth. With vigor in our hearts and one goal in sight. We will kill him. We sure will. He got there in the end. Hey, yeah, I sure did. Unfortunately, Rook did not, though. Rest in peace, Rook. I'll wait for you at the exfil point. Yeah. Three hours. Don't bother. This was a one-way flight, mate. Uh, then good luck, my friend. Thanks, Swallow Nikolai. Over. Just like old times. Yeah, Rip, Rook, Ghost, and Roach. All three of them gone. Big fucking bummer. Roach and Ghost didn't need to go down like that, but General Shepard did him turbo dirty. That's why he's now officially the worst person on the planet. Hold up. Enemy patrol. Hold your fire. Looks like Macro's intel was solid. This is it. Mm-hmm. The intro of this mission is fucking great. It sure is. Dude, that's why this is my favorite COD. Every single mission is great. Favela, anyways, kind of. Yeah, I guess the, some of the favela ones are not great, but this is still overall. Oh my God! Hi, this is still my uh, my favorite uh, my favorite COD campaign for sure. Mistakes? What do you mean mistakes? I thought I took them all out. What? I guess to be fair, that last level was kind of meh just because I was able to cheese it hard, but like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think they're, uh... Hey, I'm not 
not getting anything from Disciple 4 at the North Ridge Road. Could be a bad transmitter. Go two tangos down below. What happens if I just let go of this thing? Ah, I'm not gonna do it. You really don't hear that sound, brother? Mmm, silence, sir. Rip. Somebody didn't expect the dog to do that, even though I did see it uh, live. Yeah, me neither. I honestly didn't even see it live. I was like, what the fuck? Oh, also, shout out to the intervention. Tango up ahead. Do not engage. Even though that... I don't use snipers. I remember that being, like, the OG. Like... Because the MSR was the one in MW3. Coming our way. Go left, quickly. Uh, yeah. Let them pass. There's a... seven oxide. We've lost contact with Disciple Five. Probably just the sandstorm that's rolling in, or a bad transmitter. Send a team to check it out. Over. Just sitting here Roger like, oh, poor dog. He doesn't know what to do. They just fire. get mauled real quick, out. right? Like a dog's like, Take out the guard, you, you what, mate? And then he just grabs my neck. Bites it. I'm sorry, what did Price say? Good night. Bye. Go. No mercy for these fools. Oh. Oh. Am I going the wrong way? Easy now. I'm gonna fucking go prone. Two tangos in this corridor. How did they oh, not see us? Stay to the left. Literally how? Five oxide. <laughs> Praise be the intervention. According to a leak, the intervention's coming back in the new MW2, but once again, that is just a leak. But it wouldn't surprise me. This is... Nice. Like I said, it's just a leak, but apparently it's from a... Um, it's apparently from, like, a pretty reputable source in the MW2 leaks. And like I said, it would not surprise me because yeah, this is like this is like one of the favorite sniper rivals in the series. But it was only in one game, this one. That's why it's kind of iconic. It's very iconic. It just looks fucking sleek too. The intervention just looks dope. Got the nasty bipod. Disciple six, go dark, breaching clear. Oh boy. Here we go. Get ready. Door charge planted, ready to breach. Ooh, hello M10. This is be spot 12. Box shot elements sweep left. Search pattern echo Charlie. Go. Door area clear. Check your corners. Go loud. I'm fire. They're here. Open fire. The uh, place in number 3 did look pretty nicely. Yeah, oh yeah, the MSR was definitely a uh, a very popular sniper rifle for sure. I remember a lot of people online using the MSR. Because it basically was just a like it was just like a bigger intervention. Whoop. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Whoops. Ooh, Ronald. Donald Duck Reagan. What? Hit it. Breaching, breaching. Donald Fagan. Foxtrot element, sweep left. Search pattern, echo Charlie. Go. Door area clear. Oh, that, I'm just pressing the wrong button for it. Whoops. Go down. I'm fire. They're here. Open fire. What's my other weapon? Oh, yeah, the vector. Fucking Vector's pretty dope, too. Maintain aggressive posture. Stay in visual contact with the target. Got a man down. First most action you get, so you're basically relying on it stopping power at that point, even though it was less than the intervention. Was it the first? I thought it was the uh, the L118 that was the first. I, I thought the MSR was the uh, the last one you got, actually. Because it was pretty damn good. I think it was like chest to... Chest to... Um, what am I trying to say? Chest to head was a insta-kill. I could be totally wrong, though. Oh, you're talking about the intervention. Is that what you mean? Are you talking about the intervention or the MSR? So I remember the MSR being the last sniper rifle you got. But, uh, because it was the... Let me see if I can remember this. It was the Bearer 50 Cal, then the L118. Then the third one, I think, was either the, uh, Arsos or the Dragonov. I think. Whichever you meant. 
Uh, yeah, because I remember the four, the first bolt to actually got after you got, like, to level four, whatever the fuck it was. Um, was, um, was the L118. I remember that one being pretty okay as well. MG4, sure, maybe? Yeah. Yeah, I believe the MSR was actually the last sniper rifle you got, because it was, it was pretty damn good. Once you got it, everyone fucking used it. <laughs> it was definitely, like, the favorite. They have pretty good stopping power. <laughs> right ahead of you. I can't believe I actually remember that much. There was another sniper rifle I think I'm forgetting of in a MW2 that was in between those. You forgot the L118 was in it? Yeah. I actually used the L118 for a tiny bit when I, like, for the very few times I went sniper around. It was, it was pretty good. I think I remember getting up to like the second skin on it, and I was, I was like, alright, I'm done. <laughs> Bear 50 cal though. I've got eyes on target. Or sorry, yeah, maybe the L1 L17. Yeah, I don't remember if it was 17 or 18. It was one of the L1 11 L1 sniper rifles, bolt action. This helps. Literally does not help at all. Oh, because I didn't tell. Yoink. Scar H thermal, huh? Sure, why not? Flank. A friend of mine had a selection of uh, guns that were also in W2 and, and stuff. Oh, as airsoft rifles? Nice. That's always cool when you can see, like, the, uh... I mean, obviously, this is airsoft, not, you know, like, real steel, but, like, the airsoft equivalent. It's pretty cool. But, like, oh, I remember that gun from, uh, from Modern Warfare. Like, literally, anytime I see a picture of a gun, like, in real life, I'm like, oh, yeah, that gun from this shooting game, because I, you know, I don't really know much about real steel, other than from, like, COD and Halo and shit. Obviously, though, Halo is more fantasy-oriented, because those aren't real firearms. <laughs> the L-17, FAMAS, MP5, UMP-45, M4... And MP7, nice. Oh, you had a G36? Oh, yeah, the G36. They brought that one back in uh, MW3. That one was a good one. It's weird. The G36 and MW3 had a... I think it had a shorter, like, weapon switch time than, like, and most other guns for some reason. I don't remember why. I'll go, uh, P90. Hell yeah, though. Sounds, sounds rad. Oh, there's a lot of C4. For you see one man, I see four. C4. <gasps> Get the fuck out of here. But it was uh, an uh, LMG in which that made me sad as usual. But there's an LMG variant of the AUG as an LMG was acceptable. Yeah, I forgot the G36 had an LMG variant. Right. I'm just going to assume like every goddamn... You know, thing has an LMG variant. I did it. I pressed like two buttons and. Oh boy. Yeah, oh, it sure is. Oh. There he is. So this is when a shepherd ever, ca ever, ever cared about danger close, bro. Ooh. Well, MW had its uh, regular AR. Right, there it is. Yeah, I think the new NW, it's an LMG, but yeah, an MW2 was just an... They basically brought it back from uh, MW1. They skipped it in this game, and then just brought back the M4 and the G36. So, Shepard straight up just, like, fucking destroyed, like, half his team, dude. He doesn't give a shit. Ah, I was really hoping to destroy that. Oh. I I got it. Oh, killed two rapid enemies. Danger close, am I right? Ha ha ha. Yeah, Shepard doesn't give a shit, dude. Highway to the danger close. Pfft, explosion. 
Shepard doesn't give a shit. Just killed like half his own squad just to prove a point that he's an asshole. Literally just to show that he's the biggest douche on planet Earth. Oh, there's a Scar H Thermal lol. Did this run to a wall? You know the XME? I do. I remember that gun from uh, Bad Company 2. Dude, also shout out to Battlefield Bad Company 2. That was one of my favorite multiplayers of all time. Oh my god, it was so much fun. This is for the record. Hmm. History is written by the victor. Sure is. History is filled with liars. It sure fucking is. If he lives and we die, his truth becomes written and ours is lost. Dude, shout, for, tell it to Christopher Columbus. Because all you need to change the world is one good lie and a river of blood. He's about to complete the greatest trick a liar ever played on history. His truth will be the truth, but only if he lives and we die. Finally, an axe against the government. What do you fucking mean? Uh, the friend I mentioned also had that before. It was in MW3. Uh, was the X made in MW3? I don't remember. That one, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, oh, Black Ops 2. Right. Yes, it was in Black Ops 2. That is correct. Yeah, it was, uh, I think it was a three round burst. And like I said, it was also in uh, Bad Company 2. That's where I remember it from. Oh, hell yeah. I've got a mini Uzi. The Black Ops 2 is a great game. Great multiplayer and great story. Although I kind of joined the multiplayer a little bit late. And the story too. I don't know. I don't remember why I didn't like the story the first time I played Black Ops 2. But man. It was uh. I played it like. For real. And it was like. It's one of the best ones. Oh it's a. Yeah it's a four round burst. Right that gun was garbage. I remember that. It was a four round burst assault rifle. And it had like no damage. Literally none. It was basically like they neutered the Type Nine, uh, Type Ninety Five, and the FAMAS. Last level, by the way. This is gonna take almost the same amount of time as a uh, <laughs> Modern Warfare Remastered, which I wasn't expecting. Oh boy. A little bird. After we finish here, I actually just want to go back online and check what weapons were in MW3 because now I'm honestly just curious. Also, rip. I got fucking destroyed. Yeah, four, yeah, four round burst Dan's game. That's 100% appropriate, by the way. <laughs> Very appropriate. What was that shotgun in Black Ops 2 that was absolute ter- Like, it was like a four-round cylinder, and it was so bad. Like, you'd shoot four rounds and then cycle the cylinder, and it had, like, no damage. It was so fucking awful. I like Black Ops 2, but some of those weapons are pretty, pretty trash. Although the KSG was disgusting. The KSG, which had... Oh, drive-by. Oh, cool. Well, that's a rare achievement? Oh, wow. Is that a rare achievement? You just have to hold down left trigger. <laughs> what was that? You saw that boat just, like, try to fuck me? I'm not sure how I haven't shot Shepard yet, by the way. He's, like, right there. Like, literally. I think that shotgun was called, like, the S-1200 or some shit. There was two really bad shotguns in uh, Black Ops 2, but I remember the Remington and the KSG being pretty, pretty gross. The KSG, especially since it was a slug round, so you had to be tur turbo accurate, but its accuracy and its range were gross. Like, it, it had sniper range. Pavlo. Alright. 
Nail it. Nice. Oh, I don't think it's too late. Oh, damn. Price just straight up jumped. I remember in the OG, they just stayed in the boat. They both fucking jumped into a waterfall. What a bunch of gods, dude. Holy crap. All right. The reckoning moment. Oh, God. Oh, that's a lot of water in the lungs. That shouldn't be there. So, get up. Give me my knife. Yeah, I'm fine. Just, just had a little too much to drink. Hey, sir. Where, where's Shepard? Where's the girl? Hey, hey, man. Oh, oh my god. Just straight up, just fucking slit that dude's throat. All right, that was a little extreme, but that's fine. Oh, hey. I'm feeling a little rusty for some reason. Huh. Oh. Who the fuck? How dare you, sir? How fucking dare you? Go to sleep. <laughs> Good joke, Supa. This is literally where the level is. I actually never knew that. That's funny. Oh, you son of a bitch. Get over here. How are you running? Oh my god, I literally can't see. Oh, I'm gonna fucking destroy you. Oh, cribbity Christmas. Oh, right. Ooh. There, it's a lot more in this game. Five years ago, I lost 30,000 men in the blink of an eye. And the world just fucking watched. Oh, it's such a good line. Tomorrow, there will be no shortage of volunteers. No shortage of patriots. You are actually insane, though. Really? Two rounds? That's it? I know you understand. Fuck you. Oh, get the gun. Get, get it. Get the pistol. There should be one round left. Russian roulette. Ah, crap. God damn it. Fucking Shepard. No, his hat. Ooh, nice counter hook. Oh, Price, keep him busy. Oh, crap. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We need to, like, do something. My son. Oh, we gotta spam it. Oh, we gotta spam it real good. We gotta spam it so fucking hard. We gotta fucking spam it so fucking hard. We gotta fucking swear the son of a bitch. I'm gonna get the 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 motherfucking son of a goddamn son. Got it. We're good. Hey, Shepard. You ever heard of yo 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 yo? Fuck you. Oh, right in the eye. What a good throw. And he's dead. Cool. Supposedly, maybe he'll come back in Ghost for some reason. Like a secret ending. They, I love that part, dude. One of the best parts in the series. One of the most satisfying villain kills in the entire series of Call of Duty. When you stick that fucking knife right in his skull. And you throw it, too. That's the more, more impressive thing. I just threw that son of a bitch. Price. 
guys. <laughs> Let me grab his hat. So. So. I need soap for my wounds. Oh God, who? It'll hold for now. Come on, get up. Oh yeah, will it? I thought I told oh. you this was a one-way trip. Nikolai. Like still is. They'll be looking for us, you know. They sure will, dude. Nikolai, we gotta get soap out of here. Yeah. They know a place. Hell yeah, Nikolai. Yes. Get soap on the rope. Yeah, remember when that fucking achievement popped up and I was like, the game has no chill? Hell yeah. We did it, dude. My favorite fucking COD of all time. Well, at least in terms of story. Now, if I remember correctly, there is... Is there anything after the... There's nothing after the, uh... Um... Credits minus the museum, right? So I can just skip the credits. Oh, hi, random dude. See, so yeah, besides the museum, we can just quit then. All right, we did it! Hell yeah! Yeah, you know, let's take a. That was called Endgame, by the way. Kill General Shepard. Let's uh let's take a look down the let's go to the museum for a little bit. We'll kind of just chill there and check out the guns and the the sights and the sounds, and then we'll uh, we'll call the stream after that. Like I said, this is gonna be a shorter stream, but I have nothing else planned. We will I I completely forgot. Don't know why it slipped my mind, but uh since we have two more days of the current week, um we're gonna do two days of a we're gonna start Yakuza two tomorrow, which I'm super excited for, um, and then uh yeah. So we're going to do two days of Yakuza 2, basically. Oh, yeah, I could do this. Delayed. Sorry. <laughs> Bonk. How much are you going to be up? Uh, Not too much. I'm just going to relax and watch some YouTube, probably. Kind of enjoy the extra time I have. And I'll obviously get the video up for YouTube as well. Let's see. Ooh, 44 Magnum? Sure, why not? Hey, hey, Shepard. Remember when you shot me with a Magnum? Fuck you. And you. Yep. This is for all... Th oh, shit. All the shit. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see. Ooh, the AA-12. Sure. Sorry. <laughs> Shock Uncle Burr. Oops. Sorry, what? Uh, yeah, sure. Ooh, the Bear 50 Cal. How does it work in this game? Oh, right, it's slower. It's like turbo fast in uh, MW3. Yeet. Hell yeah. Hmm. Seems like it's, a. Uh, seems like it's closed. Information. Oh, <laughs> look at the little dioramas. Not as fast, but I mean fast. That is fair. Fast as fuck, boy. Nice. Oh, Rip Ghost. Hey, where's the... Uh, oh, hey, what's this? Do not hold X. Oh, what the fuck? I don't remember this metal music being here. Oh my god. Literally running with just the fucking, like, RPGs. Oh my god, who the fuck was that? That is intense. Yeah, that was definitely not in the original, <laughs> by the way. Alright, well, you know. I could have checked all the weapons, but who fucking cares? Oh yeah, in Sino, California. Well, I might as well check the rest of the weapons, see what other weapons were in this game. 
Oh, right. We'll check what uh, weapons were in MW3 before we end, just because I'm curious. Uh, oh, yeah. There's the stinger. Oh, yeah. The, <laughs> the PP. Oh, right. The fucking M93. I, like, don't remember this one at all. Mini Uzi, of course. P90. Tar. Vector. MP5K. Uh... I don't fucking remember this. Oh, yeah, the thumper. Yeah, the grenade launcher. Bonk. <laughs> That's a good one. L6, MG4, M240, RPD. There's the AUG. And the fucking javelin. Yeet. Yeet. God, fucking 18 rounds. Good lord. All right, you know what? One more time. Thump thumper only. I fucking... Suck. Noob tube. Oh, I guess it's just them. All right, thumper only. We got this. All right, my health back. Oh, did we get him? Oh, nope. Got him. Oh. Hmm. Cool. Alright, I guess that was it. We'll do it again. At least you can play the music again. All right, I guess we're done here. <laughs> Hold up, what, what happened? That is concerning that it makes a hole in the ground as a grenade launcher. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that's that's some real power behind that, like some real fucking power. For that guy. Oh wait, maybe I can do it here. Oh yeah, h here we go. Again. All right, here we go for real this time. Oh boy. Oh, fucking high. Oh, you're more concerned about the explosive afterwards. That's I see. Oh, I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> the enemy is in range. So are you? That is true. Yeah, the explosive just in there, and someone's like, "Oh, what's this? I mean, I, it seems like a ball or something." All right, well, that's uh, that's it for uh, MW2. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for watching. Appreciate you. We will get to MW3 after we uh, finish up Yakuza 2. Yakuza 2 is probably going to take a little while to complete because I think it was longer than the first one. Um, not sure how many sub-stories I'm going to do because the sub-stories in the first game are pretty bad. But, uh, oh, yeah, before I forget, let's uh, let's look up the... Let's put the webcam on just because I can. Uh, let's look up the weapons real quick for MW3. Modern Warfare 3 Weapons. Honestly, I'm just curious at this point. I know I'm missing, like, one, um, like, one sniper rifle. Let's see. So, we're going to go down from ARs and everything. So, ARs. We got the M4A1. Yep. Classic. The M16. Right. The M16 was a three-round burst. The SCAR-L. Oh, yeah. The CM91. 901. Right. That was, like, a heavy assault rifle. Oh, and that's what it was. It was the ACR 6.8. It was the Remington model. Basically a heavier one. G36C, the MK14, yep. AK47. Oh, yeah, the FAD. Remember the FAD? The FAD, that really fast... Uh, that really, really fast assault rifle that had, like, no accuracy because... And no damage. That one was pretty not great. All right, so that's, uh... That's all that. Now let's go to uh, submachine guns. MP5, UMP45, the PP90, which is one of my favorite ones. Uh, the P9. Oh, that's what it was called. The PM9. That's what it is. The PM9. That was the bullet hose. The absolute fucking chonker. And chonker bullet hose. Actually, I wonder if I can bring this up. I could. Nah, it's fine. You can just look it up. Uh, yeah, the PM9 and the MP7, of course. The MP7 was disgusting. <laughs> the UMP was pretty good, too, though, if I remember correctly. Had more damage, too. You enjoyed the fad with the uh, preferred with iron sights. 
I remember the fad being like pretty fun to use, but it was just really inaccurate. I kind of like was just like, eh, I'll just stick with my M4, my ACR. But it wasn't like terrible. All right, so that's that's your primaries, uh, submachine guns, LMGs, the L86, uh, LSW. Oh yeah, the MG36. I think that. Oh no, there it is. The MG36 is the G36, but the machine gun variant. So that's interesting. They had the G36 assault rifle and the G36 uh, mach like heavy machine gun. Oh yeah, the PKP uh, uh, Pechenegg. I remember that. They used that in the final level. The MK46 and the M60E4. Oh right, this is the fucking this is the game that didn't have the uh, M240. Why? Wasn't as inaccurate as the ACR. That is true. The ACR was pretty inaccurate, especially with iron sights. All right, so sniper rifles. This is the one I know I'm missing something. I was. Okay, so you had the Barrett 50 Cal was the first. Then the L118. It was 18. I remembered. Uh, then you had the Dragunov. Right. The fourth one was the AS50. I don't remember anybody ever using the AS50. The, uh, the one after that was the RSOS. And then the one after that was the MSR, which is the one that every fucking buddy... And the grandma used. Though I think, funny enough, the AS50, I think, did more damage. Um, I think the AS50 was like a... If you had it at, like, top torso and head, it did more damage, but it was way more inaccurate. If I remember. But that's why nobody used it. Or the Dragunov, because it's a fucking Dragunov. The AS50 isn't the bear, no. It's it's a similar style of gun, but I think it was it had less, uh, less rate of fire and less... It had a... Maybe not necessarily less accuracy, but it did have a higher recoil because it was so damn powerful. The Barrett and the AS-50 are similar, but the Barrett is way faster. I remember the Barrett being really fast to shoot. You hated the pension egg, but love saying it in a Russian accent. The PKP pension egg. We'll get the vodka PKP. Alright, and now shotguns. This is where it gets fun. So the USOS 12 was a fun one to use. The KSG, I remember nobody using until uh, Black Ops 2 when it was good. Uh, you had the SPAS, of course. The AA-12. The Striker was a fun one. That They used that one in uh, Infected. And then the 1887, the Terminator flip. Very, very fun shotguns. I don't think anybody ever used the KSG. Because it was basically just a worse version of the SPAS. Uh, but I remember using the Striker in Infected all the time. And the USOS is pretty good. Alright, now for secondaries. We have, oh yeah, the FMG9. Another good one. The FMG, uh, dual FMG9s. Another great weapon infected. And then, of course, the MP9, which is disgusting. The Scorpion. I kind of forgot about the Scorpion. Then the G18. Yeah, now it's all coming back to me. Uh, pistols, we have the USP45, the, the P99. Don't remember that one as much. Oh yeah, they had two Magnums. They had the MP412, which is like... High damage, but no accuracy. And then they had the 44 Magnum, which is the exact opposite. Oh, was the KSG good? I don't remember anybody using it, myself included. Uh, the Deagle, and then... Oh, yeah, the 5.7. I remember the 5.7 actually being good. I remember going an all-pistol round with the 5.7 and getting, like... Um, I actually think I got, like, 22 kills with the 5.7 only. I think it was extended max, but even then. And then finally, the launchers. You had the Small, the Javelin, the Stinger... Oh, yeah, the fucking XM-25, like, grenade launcher. The M320 grenade launcher, which I don't think anybody used either. And then the RPG-7. Nice. Kick, impact, attachments, focus, speed, breath, stability. Right, these are all the, uh... These are all the... Proficiencies. Frag, Semtex, throwing knife, bouncing betty, claymore, flash grenade, concussion, scrambler, EMP grenade, smoke grenade, trope system, tactical insertion. Oh, right, and then portable radar. Nice. Yeah, it was the Fallon 2 and the MK14 and 3. Both pretty damn good, although I'm not a fan of single-shot uh, semi-automatic weapons, but they were pretty damn good. I'm, act I'm just going to go down this entire list because now this is giving me nostalgia. Yeah, right. Rec so here's the perks now. Recon, Sleight of Hand. Dude, you remember Sleight of Hand? That one was amazing. Remember, when if you can get to 7 kills, you can get all of these perks. You got Sleight of Hand, Recon, which is pretty good. Blind Eye was great. Extreme Conditioning. Oh my god, Extreme Conditioning. Uh, Scavenger. Quick Draw. Blast Shield. Hardline, which reduces the uh, the kill streaks. Assassin was gross. Uh, Overkill was good. 
as you could do two primaries if you wanted to. Uh, Marksman was pretty good. Stalker was very good. Stalker was great because if you got the pro, you it delayed enemy detection trigger, like uh, like claymores and bouncing baddies. That was key. And of course, steady aim, sit rep, and dead silence were also all absolutely fantastic. Ah, the good old Moab. Oh, I didn't know that. The team that uses the Moab will have double XP for the remainder of that match. Oh, I, I actually never knew that. Although, that match doesn't last long because everyone fucking leaves after that. Um, this is giving me some huge nostalgia. Having that one perk when it was pro would uh show enemies when damaged. Yes, it did. Right. Yeah, flashbangs proc'd it. Right. I remember that. Using a flashbang and just seeing where literally everyone is. UAV, care package, IMS, predator missile, sentry gun, precision airstrike, attack helicopter, strafe, I remember the strafe run. The uh, Overwatch attack helicopter, the Reaper, assault drone, AC-130 was gross. The Pavlo was disgusting. That The Pavlo was broken. It was absolutely broken. Uh, the Juggernaut and the Osprey. And then if you had the support, you had... Oh, you know what else I did? Instead of going with a uh, tactical, I would be... I would do the massive cheese and go with... Um, Y'all remember going with the setup where you would get the UAV at 4 kills and then get the counter UAV at 5. So you could just constantly keep having your UAV up and countering theirs. I remember doing that. It was pretty gross. You could do that 4 times in 20 kills. <laughs> we have all perks at 8 kills. Yep, all 6, 15 perks activated. Yep, oh my god, nostalgia. Man, I, re I really hope they remake Modern Warfare 3 and actually do the multiplayer. Because god, I mean, when I tell you I spent like hundreds of hours... In Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer, I mean I spent hundreds upon hundreds of hours in Modern Warfare 3's multiplayer. That was my go-to game, like, after school, on my days off, whatever. Because I had just missed Modern Warfare 2. Like, I literally had just missed it by a week. It was, like, a week after. I was like, oh, let's go into Modern Warfare 2, sure. And then a week after that happened, Modern Warfare 3 came out. And I was like, all right, never mind. <laughs> Gonna play Modern Warfare 3 now. And I did. You and your cousin were a menace in twos. You got to a Prestige 13 MW3. Nice. I remember getting to Prestige... I think I got to 16. Prestige 16. I, I was at like 15 for forever. And I was like, oh, Prestige again. Why not? And then I think I got to 16. And that's when the, you know, the servers finally died out. But I mean, I kept playing MW3 a good like five years after... um, Probably five years after the it stopped like being the main COD game. Because obviously it's there's like four other games at that point. And still was able to find lobbies... Not a lot, but it was mostly Infected. But, I mean, I was still able to play Infected in, like, 20... Probably up to, like, 2017. I think I actually did a stream or two of Infected. Uh, you have a legit Prestige 10 in MW2. Nice, since there was a ton of hacked XP things with that. Well, that's the thing. Once the game becomes, like, super old, at that point, all you get are hackers. Literally. Although there were some fun lobbies. I remember finding a lot of hackers when I went on to MW3, like, years later. Same thing with Advanced Warfare. I remember playing Advanced Warfare, like, many years down the line, and fucking hackers everywhere, dude. It sucks. Also, apparently nobody else knows how to play Advanced Warfare, because I would always end up with, like, 60 kills, and I'm not joking. I wish I still had this picture. I remember having a picture, and I think I posted my old Discord, where I went, I think it was, like, 73 and, like, 14... I'm not even joking. I had 73 of our 100 kills because my entire team were just like, literally did not know how to play the game. Because I had 73 kills out of a 100 kill game. I really, really wish I still had the picture. Uh, playing MD1 10 years later, found out people were under the map on <laughs> on Bog. Yeah, Jabated, but literally Jabated. Dude, I love Jabate. That's so funny. Uh, that was a good nostalgia shit. Maybe I should try and, like, go back on... I mean, we are going to be playing MW3 uh, within, like, probably a week or two. Maybe I should try and get on some online. Probably won't work, but, you know, maybe I should just try and see if we can get in some uh, games of Infected or something. I don't know, though. I feel like maybe if they were... If they announce MW3 Remastered, maybe that'll force people to go back to the OG and play it a little bit. Maybe at that point we'll, like, actually get back onto it. Anyways, though, I'm getting hella sidetracked, so I'm going to call it a stream right here. <clears throat> Thank you guys so much, uh, so much for watching. Appreciate you. Thank you also once again. This is the last time I'll say it, just because I, you know, I'm not a numbers guy. But thank you once again for 600 followers on Twitch and 500 subscribers on YouTube. You guys are fucking insane. I appreciate the support very, very much. Thank you so much. 
for making this channel what it is today. Appreciate you. Like I said, tomorrow we'll be playing uh, Yakuza 2, the original, on the PCSX2 emulator. Sorry, Twitch. And uh, it's going to be fun because I fucking love Yakuza. This will probably be the last Yakuza game I play on stream, though, until they make a new one. Unless uh, Judgment 1 or 2 comes out on Game Pass. Because uh, if they do, then I'll play those because those are the, like the side games. Or if for some reason I can somehow play Dead Souls, but I've heard Dead Souls is kind of eh. But uh, yeah, so after Yakuza 2, there probably won't be much Yakuza until they, you know, release the new games. Um, which is sad for me, but at least I get to replay all the games again. Because uh, I literally spent like 80 hours playing through Zero my last like four days off. And uh, it was a fucking blast. And I love Yakuza. But uh, nonetheless, we'll be playing Yakuza 2 two days in a row, tomorrow and Monday. And then once again, no stream on Tuesday. But Wednesday, reminder, uh, first NCAA own, uh, football 09 mascot tournament is coming up on Wednesday. I'm very excited. Remember, if you want to vote for the final mascot, uh, do that. Because otherwise, I'll just, you know, I'll randomize the six that are there and pick whichever one comes out on top. So uh, do that. Even if we only get one vote. If one person votes for a mascot, then that'll be the one we do. Um, but nonetheless, appreciate you guys once again. Thank you so much. And YouTube, of course, love you, YouTube. Hope you enjoyed the finale to Modern Warfare. Be back with MW3 in a, probably a week or two. Um, yeah, so thank you, YouTube. Peace out. I love you. And uh, see you next time. Bye.